hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so today in this video i am going to discuss about how to prepare for the tifr biology or jejables exam now for the past few days i was not physically fit to make video and that's why sorry for this delay now uh, let's start the video but before uh, going to the main topic i just want to mention one thing uh, there is a hype in the mind of students the ma the msc or integrated phd aspirants uh, about the IIT exam biotechnology exam but the IIT exam exam uh, is definitely a prestigious exam but very few institutes are there which offer admission through IIT exam biotechnology exam there are IITs, IISC, JNCSR, 102 ISERS and through CCM and counseling you can get admission in a uh, few more institutes but after you qualify the TIFR JJBLS exam, you can get admission in uh, different institutes like different TIFR institutes, TIFR Mumbai, TIFR Hyderabad, NCBS Bangalore and there are almost all the ISERs like ISER Pune, ISER Berhampur, ISER Calcutta, uh, <coughs> ISER Tirupati. You can get admission in NBRC, National Brain Research Center, NIBMG, uh, Center for Human Genetics. Bose Institute of Kolkata, uh, there are different opportunities. Therefore, you should be serious for the TIFR JJBLS exam because, first of all, you have to ensure your admission. Then, after that, you can uh, like chase your dream institutes. So, first of all, you have to make sure that you are getting admission in any of the institutes. Now, after you are getting admission, you will be confident enough uh, to like uh, for getting different options or chasing your dream institute. So TIFR exam is very important. Now let's discuss about the syllabus. Now you will not find any specific syllabus for the TIFR JJBLS exam in the TIFR website. But I have analyzed the previous year question papers from uh, the PYQ books and uh, I am going to tell you the most important topics for physics, chemistry, mathematics as well as biology. Uh, the topics on which you should mainly focus on for the TIFR JJBLS exam and <coughs> after that I am going to give you some suggestion and additional tips to score maximum marks in the exam now first let's discuss about physics uh, in physics you have to focus on uh, units and measurement and this chapter is important kinematics which is very important a uh, laws of motion and friction rotational dynamics which is also very important gravitation uh, mechanical properties of solid and liquids which is important waves and oscillation important uh, electrostatics and current electricity uh, magnetostatics and electromagnetic in, uh, induction you can ex expect at least two to three questions from these two modules so these modules are very important ray optics and wave optics and this is important module and <coughs> dual nature of radiation and matter, uh, de Broglie wavelength, a uh, calculation, the work function, these topics for modern physics. So these are broadly the topics of physics we should revise before appearing for the exam. Next, uh, let's discuss about chemistry. Uh, first of all, some basic concepts of chemistry. Uh, the first chapter of class 11th, which is very very important, uh, solution and colligative properties. Uh, solid state, uh, gaseous state which is very important, uh, uh, thermodynamics very very important, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics which is again very important, uh, buffer chemistry, Henderson hassel bridge equation, chemical bonding which is an important chapter, um, GOC and aromaticity, named reaction and mechanism of that particular reactions and biomolecules and polymers, this, these topics from organic chemistry will be sufficient. Now, in mathematics, the general aptitude section, uh, there you can find few questions from mathematics and few uh, current affair based questions and few questions from basic formulas of class 9th or 10th level, uh, which you can easily answer. But <coughs> for answering the particular hardcore mathematical questions, you can revise topics like probability, permutation and combination, which is very important geometry uh, statistics and <coughs> these are the main things which you should keep in mind before revising mathematics now uh, these are the topics of physics chemistry and mathematics now in biology you can focus on the very important modules like biochemistry uh, 
सेल बायोलॉजी मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स विच आर यूज इन बायोलॉजी एंड जेनेटिक्स नाउ दीज मॉड्यूल्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड नेवर स्कीप दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल्स बिकॉज यू आर श्योरली गोइंग टू गेट लॉर्ड्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस मॉड्यूल्स नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन फोकस ऑन इम्यूनोलॉजी एनिमल एंड प्लान फिजियोलॉजी इकोलॉजी एंड इवोल्यूशन एंड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फ्रॉम हर यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्ट फ्यू क्वेश्चन नाउ दीज आर द ब्रॉड सिलेबस नाउ हाउ टू कवर द मैक्सिमम सिलेबस सच दैट यू कैन फील कॉन्फिडेंट बिफोर एंटरिंग द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल यू और यू कैन अचीव द मैक्सिमम मार्क्स पॉसिबल इन द टी आई एफ आई जेजिबल्स एग्जाम नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रॉम दिस डे हो एन आई एम मेकिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो स्टील फोर मंथ्स मोर देन फोर मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट सो फ्रॉम टूमोरो ऑनवर्ड्स यू शूड focus on revision like i have discussed about different modules of biology and few modules are very important which i have mentioned so you can first focus on revision of that important modules and simultaneously you should continue uh, to practice the pyqs all the previous year questions first you can focus on the important modules then you can shift to other modules like physiology ecology microbiology or other modules which are in the books now you can buy a book uh, for tifr jejebels previous year question by ifas publication now i am recommending this book because the this book has almost all the questions from 2010 to 2025 uh, you are going to get all the questions now <coughs> many answers are given wrong in that particular book but as this book uh, has almost all the questions i that's why i and i personally practiced uh, this book and used this book for my revision uh, that's why i am recommending this uh, book but uh, as the answers are given wrong i would suggest you to solve the questions using ai you can use chat gpt or gemini or deepseek or any other ai tool to solve the question but if you are not confident about any other ai solution you can also tally your answer with a different ai and uh, you can like compare these two answers and if uh, the these two are same they, then there will be higher chance that the answer is correct now <coughs> so you are like you have to simultaneously continue practicing previous year questions as well as you have to focus on revision uh, first of all biology topics and then physics chemistry and mathematics topics now one thing to mention biology and general aptitude are the two most scoring sections so if you are scoring almost all the questions in general aptitude and biology then you can uh, you can like you can assure that uh if you are not very strong at physics and chemistry still you can be selected or qualify the jejebels exam now for physics and chemistry if you are facing difficulty in completing the whole syllabus covering the whole syllabus then you can specifically focus on the topics which i have mentioned as important because these are the topics from where uh, maximum questions are asked in the previous years uh, <coughs> so there is a higher chance that in this year also uh, maximum questions will be asked from this particular chapters which i have mentioned as important or very important for physics and chemistry so first you need to focus on that particular uh, chapters of physics and chemistry and whenever you are uh, like you are done with revision of, of any of the chapter of physics and chemistry you need to solve all the questions of that particular chapter from the tifr pyq book or iit jam or gatb or any other book any other pyq book you have because question practicing is very important and it will give you confidence it will boost your confidence and uh, it will also assure you your selection in the in that particular exam also now <coughs> mm, and while practicing uh, pyqs which i always mention you should uh, maintain a good notebook where you have to mark the difficult questions 
uh, which you have faced difficulty during solving now uh, so simultaneously your revision is going on and your PYQ practice session is also going on now why PYQ is very important because in the year 2025 like the TIFR exam which was in the December last year almost three to four questions were repeated as it is in fact the values were exactly the same that's why practicing PYQ is very important at least you are going to get a lot of questions a uh, lot of questions uh, regarding the same concepts based on the same concepts that's why PYQ practicing is very important and I hope I have covered the maximum topics so revision, simultaneous revision and PYQ practice uh, multiple times. These are the key for the success in the TIFR JJBLS exam. Now you don't need to worry about the current affairs or other questions uh, because the amount of that particular question is very less or uh, you are not going to like remember all the current affairs. This is not even possible. So you can skip that particular questions which are based on current affairs and all but you can focus on the other important parts now <coughs> the final part if you are unable to revise all the syllabus you don't need to worry at all because this is the beauty of tifr jjbles exam like in iit exam or any other competitive exam if you are skipping particular topics uh, which have high weightage in the exam then you are definitely going to miss a lot of questions and uh, you will be unable to answer that particular questions but the beauty of TIFR is if your concepts are clear even you don't remember the information if your concepts are clear you, you will be going to answer that particular question for uh, me personally uh, I have not completed the whole syllabus. I just memorized the concepts. I understood the basic concepts and I answered maximum questions in the paper. But uh, physics portion for that particular section physics, I was not unable to answer uh, the most of the questions. I just answered few questions which were, which were correct. But still I got selected and I was among the top 100 or 125 students. And that's why I am totally telling you uh, give your 100% for this exam but you don't need to worry you absolutely don't need to worry about the completion of the whole syllabus because it is first of all not possible and not needed as well and if you have any other question regarding preparation you can definitely ask me in the comment section or uh, telegram group uh, mentioning me uh, and I will try to answer that question as early as possible uh, and thank you for your presence for this video thank you very much